Hey guys, welcome to Backcountry Forge. Today we're going to be looking at the Teton Trailhead Sleeping Bag, which is good for 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 7 degrees Celsius. And three things you need to consider before buying this bag. Before we get started, to make sure you don't miss any of our trail videos or hiking gear reviews, hit the subscribe button below the video, the little bell icon for future notifications, and if you're interested in buying this product, check out the Amazon link below. So this is my sleeping bag. I bought this for our first uh, backpacking trip in the mountains last summer, and uh, I figured I haven't had a chance to review it, so I figured I'd give you guys this. It is the Teton Trailhead, as we said. It is rated for 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus seven degrees Celsius. Yeah, minus seven. And um, uh, we're just gonna go over some of the, the basics of the sleeping bag itself before we get to those three considerations you need to make. So. Um, first of all, this is a synthetic sleeping bag, and uh, it's the exterior is kind of a ripstop diamond uh, uh, fabric. It's water resistant, which is good. Um, some of the features, the zipper, it's I've never had a problem with the zipper, other than basic mummy yeah. bag issues. Like with the issue with the mummy bag is it's so kind of snug that you kind of gotta wiggle yourself into it to make the zipper go all the way up, but that's good. But one of the cool features is that it has this extra baffle that actually covers up the, the zipper there, which um, allows for heat loss, or uh, prevents heat loss. Yeah. Um, and then it has a uh, zipper on the inside, a little pocket for iPhone or any electronics that you need to bring Snacks. with you. Snacks, absolutely. <laughs> um, the, the interior, actually there's nothing worse than a frozen granola bar in yeah, the morning. Right. So bring that in your sleeping bag, not a bad idea. Um, the interior, is it's technically polyester, it's not cotton, but it's... It doesn't have like a polyester feel. It feels kind of like a t-shirt, like a cotton t-shirt. Yeah, it's it's really it's really comfortable. I was really pleased. I've never been a huge fan of that kind of slippery, yeah. nylon-y feeling inside a sleeping bag, so I really like that. Hmm. But um, that's the basics. Uh, it has, of course, a mummy hood with a drawstring. I can find it, there we go. Drawstring and I think that about covers it, foot box, and is able to be hung when you're drying it after washing it. So normally I keep it in, uh, I just bought this actually at Dollarama, and I keep it inside this bag to keep it from getting too compressed. And, well, really yeah. too, but more so from losing the insulation value. So that's the Teton trail head, and uh, maybe I guess we should take it out since we're going to be talking yeah. about it some more. Um, but if you're considering buying this sleeping bag, because I've used it now for a while, there were some things we wanted to talk to you guys about to say, hey, consider these three things before buying. The first one is, are you a backpacker? Are you regularly using this? Because honestly, this is a mummy bag, it's lightweight, it's compact, it weighs a total of uh, 2.9 pounds, so it is really lightweight. But if you're just going regular car camping, you just want something that's gonna be around the lake yeah. or something, get a regular, in my opinion, Get a regular envelope sleeping bag. They're so much more versatile. Yeah. Um, they're more they're more easily findable and accessible. You can get them cheaper too. Way more affordable. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, and they're more versatile. In the summer months, you can open it up and just use it as a quilt or kick out your leg, no problem. Open up the bottom. In the winter months, zip it all the way around. Kind of like it's it's good for everything. However, if you're going backpacking, you want something that is gonna be more lightweight. And the the mummy bag feature, of course, cuts off that extra triangles on the bottom and reduces excess fabric, which lowers the weight. Also has the, uh, the mummy bag hood, which is really good for trapping heat in around your head on colder uh, shoulder season nights and those kind of things. So first thing to consider, are you a backpacker? If not, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe it is, that's up to you though. The second thing to consider is the type of fill that is in the sleeping bag. So you can get two types, there's synthetic versus down, and each has their own advantages and disadvantages. For synthetic, it's a lot less expensive, it's more durable, it'll last longer, you can put it in the washing machine, it can get wet and it won't damage the fabric, yeah. and you can put it in the dryer, so it, like it's a much, much more durable material. But it's also very bulky, so it'll it takes up more space and in order, in order to have the same insulation value as down, you'd have to have a lot more synthetic fiber 
so it could be very bulky if you're doing you know like a multi-day backpacking trip whereas for down it's a lot lighter but it has a higher insulation value so it's very space efficient and it has a very good insulation value so it'll keep you warm but at the same time you can't really get it wet or else it could damage it so those are kind of the main key differences between those two types of fabric and also down is much more expensive than synthetic and this is of course a synthetic sleeping yeah. bag i'm actually allergic to down and so that's been something i have to consider um i'm looking at other options in the future maybe allergy pills and whatnot yeah but um so this is a synthetic sleeping bag so that's yeah. something you need to consider and i also find that from a comfort perspective down is just a lot softer and it just makes it more comfortable to sleep in the last thing you need to consider if you're going to buy this sleeping bag is where you're going to use it. This is a big one, and this is probably the biggest one on this yeah. list. Um, we, avid, we go regularly to the mountains. We're avid mountain hikers and, and campers. So to be honest, this sleeping bag, even though it's rated to uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, minus, minus, seven Celsius. minus 7, it's really only good in that probably 5 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit temperature for comfort. Um, so in the mountains, depending yeah. on your ele elevation, even in the middle of summer, you can have drastic temperature changes. Southern mountains, maybe a little bit less, mm. but here in Canada, for sure, you in the, get very cold. Exactly. In the middle of summer, you can get to freezing easily. So it may not be the best for that. However, again, if you're on the prairies or if you are in the Southern mountains, or if you're on, on the coast, uh, this might be a great sleeping bag at minus 7 degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit is more than enough for you. Um, great. But if you are wanting to take this into the mountains for any amount of time or length of time, it's probably not the right sleeping bag for you. In other cases, it might be great. And, and with that, it kind of depends on how long you're going to the mountains. If you're just doing one overnighter in the mountains and you know that the temperature that night is going to stay, you know, 10 degrees Celsius or whatever that is, you know, plus... 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, um, probably fine, totally probably fine. But if you're wanting to do three, two or three or more nights in the mountains, yeah. you don't know what the temperature is going to do. You can look at the forecast, but mountains are unpredictable. So you want something that you have that comfort of warmth. That to me is the big thing to consider. If you're in the mountains, might not be the right sleeping bag for you. If you're in the prairies, if you're in other areas or the foothills, could be perfect. So to recap everything about the Teton Trailhead 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag, um, it is great if you are a backpacker and that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a synthetic sleeping bag that's a mummy bag, it's great. It's affordable. That's awesome. And if you're not planning on doing a ton of mountain hiking, um, perfect sleeping bag for you. Those are the things you need to consider. And just on that note, there is also another sleeping bag that's very similar that's rated uh, to five degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 15 degrees Celsius. And it's called the um, the Tracker, the Teton Tracker. So it's, a, it's the exact same style of sleeping bag, just more fill. So that's this review is equally for that as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching our review video of the Teton Trailhead sleeping bag. If you like to give our video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment below on experiences you've had with other sleeping bags. We hope you guys are out having some adventures of your own, and maybe one day we'll see you on the trail. Either way, keep moving forward.